and acknowledging that we must be the change we want to see. A year has passed since the historic Women's March when we gathered all around the Cape and Islands in cities and towns across the United States. A year has passed since women and girls and all those who support them gathered and said with one voice, we are here. We are not second class citizens. We will not be ignored. We will no longer be silenced. We will no longer allow our bodies to be violated and our cries for justice to be ignored. We will no longer allow our daughters, our sisters, our wives, our granddaughters to think somehow it was their fault. Me too. Time is up, no more. Today we celebrate those women and girls and supporters who with courage and wobbly knees use their power, their stories, their pain to show all of us that we are not alone. That this isn't a women's issue or a man's issue. It isn't a brown issue or a white issue. It isn't a middle class issue or a working class issue. It's all our issue. Yeah. And every voice counts. Our founding fathers were mistaken when they presupposed that rich, land-owning white men were the only people qualified to set and steer the course of our country to decide what happens to our bodies and the lives of women, poor people, people of color, the differently abled, and other marginalized groups. It is up to all of us not to allow anyone to use our gifts and beauty of diversity to divide us. Together, together we are stronger. Together we are unstoppable. Together we will transform this broken, hurting world into a beloved community where all are valued. Thank you.